Well, hey, y'all. Thank you very much for taking time to come over and visit with me over on Fritz Rochester's Heat and Air's YouTube channel. I'm Fritz Rochester. I'm a licensed Kentucky HVAC master right here in Louisville, Kentucky, guys. And I know it's been a minute, but uh, I'm a, I got a little service call to do today, and uh, I was going to take you along for the ride. And what it is is this, uh, this fella, his, him and his wife, just uh, got a new house, and they're getting ready to close on it, and they had to make sure the the furnace and safe operation is in safe operational uh, condition. And I'm going to come over here and put the combustion analyzer on it and see what we got. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be right back with you. There we go, she's starting to glow. You should hear the click of the gas valve once the pressure switch does its thing. It should be firing up at any moment. Our O2 is reading 20.2. We do not want to see that go up. We have ignition. We have ignition. Alright guys, our O2 is going down. Lower kick on. We have blower. We do not want to see the O2 rise. The O2 is going down. Looks like we're going to stabilize right around 11.3. Our parts per million are looking pretty good. We're going to let it go for another 5 or 10 minutes. Guys, I make up these little cheat sheets too. And I take them on the job with me. And all I, I got me a little magnet out of a, a speaker and I just mount that on the furnace. But I've got everything we need to test with in here. Everybody needs to have this test done every season. This is for the safety and well-being of your family. This will tell us whether or not we got a potential cracked heat exchanger. Okay guys, went ahead and I broke out my field piece S24 here. It's a dual thermometer. Guys, I would normally use my Testo 435, that wicked thing, but as you can see there's no boot here. And I just had to go into the side cavity here. Um, so what I want to do is I've got uh, T1 on the return side of things. Go ahead and turn it on. It's starting to get hot up in here. All right, T1 is reading 74 degrees, 73 degrees. Let's hang with it just for a second. Okay, I'm going to call it 73 degrees. All right, guys. All right, now let's see what our our uh, bonnet is which is T2. And that's really way up there, guys. That's at 174. 173. I normally see them 
like around 140. All right, guys, we're going to call it 174. Okay, guys, it should be in between our bonnet temperature. Should be, all right, let's say 73 plus 30 equals 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 103. So let's say 60 plus 73. Is three. What is that? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One thirty-three. All right, guys, we're running extremely high. Okay, guys, I'm thinking something's either it's something's probably when I see this kind of number, something's probably plugged up, something's dirty, something like that. So let's uh, we're gonna do some further investigation here. See what we can do. All right, guys, I had a sixteen by twenty-five in here, and as you can see, you see that gap, and that goes all the way back. So what I actually did was I brought him out a uh, 20 by 25 by 1. All right, guys, look at that. The 20 by 25 by 1 fits in there perfectly. All right, guys, this might have a little bit to do with What's it. What's down there, boy? Come on, get out of there. Ain't no <laughs> All right, guys, look right. at these returns. Jet. I mean, they're functified. And uh, I found a ball down in the one in the, uh, in the other room there. But, uh, heck, let's go take a peek at this one. Look at that, guys. That's no good. Now, what we're going to do is uh, he's going to get somebody out here to clean these things. I, I, I'd say they're, I'd say they're only functioning at maybe 25 percent, if that. But uh, you got to have return, guys. You got to have return. pretty good I know that's kind of high if we actually go by you know I, I, I carry around these to actually like a cheat sheet and you know it's efficiency 80 to 82 percent oxygen 7 to 9 um, carbon dioxide 6.5 to 80 oh, stack temp should be 325 to 400 now that's kind of iffy too I've actually seen uh, these where it said the stack could actually go up to 450 now if we go by our data plate which we're going by here it's stating that uh, we're in we're in we're in good working order. Now I know that seems kind of high to us, but uh, I think we'll be okay with this, guys. Like I said, I think this furnace is grossly oversized, but I know the reasoning behind it now. But uh, I think we're looking pretty good, guys. So what I want to do now is go ahead and do a uh, temperature split here. So let's go ahead and hit T1. All right. And it looks like T1 is going to hang there at uh, 73. Let's mark that down. 73 degrees. All right, guys, let's go over to T2. 155. 155. Now, I believe it. I'm, I'm not positive what that bonnet said. Now, I know it's going to be kind of high, guys, because they basically only got three returns in here and they're actually uh, four inches. But actually, guys, it's saying our bonnet can reach up to 180 degrees, guys. Ain't that something? All right, guys, we're running right at 155, 154. I'm gonna call it 155. All right, guys, our supply is 155. All right, guys, what we're gonna actually do here is uh, we're going to add our 73 degrees to our, our 30, our temperature split off our data, uh, data plate. That's going to give us 3, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 103. And we're going to add 73 to our 60 here. That's uh, 3, 7, 
It's 13. All right, guys, we're running at 154, and our highest should be 133. But uh, like I said, guys, off the nomenclature, it's saying 185. Now we know, we all know that we that in the trade here that that's that's high. But guys, it's not to the unsafe point. Guys, as of now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pop that limit, and we're actually going to uh, see get my inspection camera in there and uh, see what we can uh, see what we can see hopefully but uh, you know as of now they just bought the house they know that uh, you know it's going to cost some bucks to have me pull this thing but the readings that I'm getting now I mean look at my vent my stack temperature it's it's not risen over 435 so I think we're actually we're in a safe zone is what I'm getting at here guys and uh, but anyway guys let me pop this limit and uh, heck, let me get, get him a printout too but uh, I'll get right back to you all on that all right guys. Okay, let me get my inspection camera. Try and schedule that, I guess, next weekend. Or... All right, guys, take a peek at this. Now, that's the coil you're looking at, and I know it's probably hard to see, and it's, it's kind of functified. And I, we all figured that because of the vent. I mean, because of the, uh, the as filthy as the ductwork was, and the uh, the filter had like a, a several-inch gap on it. But I guarantee if we clean that up, we're liable to knock down some of the temp rise, you know, because that's inhibiting airflow. But uh, we're going to have to reschedule this. So, all right, guys. I'll uh, try to bring you with me next time. All right, guys.